Alright, hey there everybody, it's Kirby1917. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. Alright, so when we last left off, we got Bowser in our party, man. What game would you ever get to play as Bowser? That's just so awesome. You should all agree with me. What's even best is that he can use his fire breath underwater. So, uh... Come on, give me... Yeah, there you go. So it makes uh, it makes it really, really helpful in this level because otherwise, bloopers. Otherwise, these enemies would be almost impossible to kill. Because I guess your only ways of attacking them are um, are just with boomer coins. Um, I don't really care about these. So, oh god. Let's switch to Mario over here. There we go. Just kind of bypass that uh, black hole in the water area. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, got some crackling going on. Oh god. Bowser, run. Run, Bowser. Run. There we go. Take care of that stupid blooper. Nobody likes you, blooper. What is true? No one likes Blooper. They were a pain in the butt in Mario 1. They are a pain in the butt in every game that they've been in. You kind of need Bowser in this area, because uh, otherwise you really couldn't get past. Alright, come here, Blooper. There you go. Run right into that. Um. So let's just use that right here. Freaking three. Oh, my sleepy seat. No. Huh. It's these pillars again. I believe we've seen these somewhere, somewhere before, but we can't do anything with them right now. So let's just continue on. Um, forget about saving for a moment. And go down the pipe as Mario. Good old Mario. Doesn't do as much damage as uh, Bowser, but still pretty nimble. Uh, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? Oh my god. That thing's freaked the crap out of me. Oh man, my voice. Okay, okay, there we go. That's good. Ah! 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 Okay, whatever. That's just a blooper. Giant blooper tentacle. Um, you can't do anything with those. So, um... Yeah, you can't really, uh... Hurt those in any way. There's, you can't do any damage to them. So, uh, let's just... Take Bowser to here. Die, Goomba! You belong to me! Die, Goombas! You are nothing but betrayers. You betray Luigi, you betray Bowser. And nobody betrays Bowser. Well, hello there, Mr. Blooper. Ow! Come on. There you go. Oh, thank you for dropping HP. I will gladly accept that. There we go. Come on. Alright. One fried blooper coming right up. Ha ha ha. And, uh, we're trapped in this room for right now. There we go. Kill all those people. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. No one can harm Lord Bowser. There we go. Kill all those enemies. And what do we have here? It's another treasure chest. I wonder what's inside. What do we always find in these big treasure chests? Hey! In case you ain't heard, I've thrown a lot of girth around these parts. And I'm gonna check you out and make sure you got the way to hang with me. Alright, let's start by checking that face of yours. Dude, the sacky eyebrows. That's not even kind of girthy. You get 50 girth points. Aww. Alright, I gotta check those girthiness of those clothes of yours. Bowser doesn't have clothes. What's more girthy than a giant spiky sail? That's worth 100 girth points. Um... Are you insinuating that Bowser, that Bowser's sail is actually his clothes? Hmm, I guess never thought of it that way. 
First attack on the body coming up. That's where the real heavy comes from. Look at this guy. Look at him in the dictionary. He's a definition of girth. Yeah, that's stupid. A super heavyweight right here. Bam! 10,000 girth points! The sheer girthy to the display here is blowing my mind. There's no getting around it. You got heavy like I've never seen before. Any fool that gets in your way just has to. You just have to girth him up. Love it. Smash it and twist those lightweights. You've got places with those girths like that. I want to come along for a ride. Alright, new pixel in the house. The ground pounding pixel named Thudley joined you. Now you can unleash a powerful attack on anything right below you when you jump. You can even use the ground pound on enemies in the water. With our curves combined, nobody can stop us. You gotta get out of this room first. Put my heavyweight power to work. Alright, so we have a new pixel with us, Thudley. And when you press the one button, he'll have you do a ground pound. That's pretty sweet, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. It is pretty sweet. You better not disagree with me. Alright, well now that we have the power to, um... Uh, let's use Mario to get out of here. He's a faster swimmer. Maybe. I don't know, they all kind of swim at the same speeds. But now that we have the power to ground pound, we can go back and hit those pillars that we saw earlier. Man, okay, I gotta say, I really, really like the looks of this world. Just the whole pixelated area. This just looks so good. I don't know, I mean, there's something about it. It's just, I really hope. Ow! Blooper, I'm trying to explain how I like this land and you're not helping. Okay. But I just really like how everything's square and squares are one color each. Um. Okay, well, that didn't hurt us, so. It's all good. All good in the end. Oh my god, it's another one. What is with these giant blue. Alright, Blooper, I'm not gonna bother you. Go away. Can I hurt you? Apparently not. Alright. Well, right here, you can see how you have to hit those pillars. The left, you have to hit these two down, and the right one, you have to hit the middle one down. So, let's go and do that. But yeah, like, I really like the look of this place, because the background, the foreground, is everything about this place is it's pretty cool, about how everything is just pixelated. And they really made it work, too. Like, it could have been crap. But, uh, they did really good with this. Oh my god, don't die, don't die, don't die. Jeez, Mario. Mario, scared me there. Give me a freaking heart attack, why don't you? Um. Oh, I didn't get out. Let's just switch back for Bowser for this, because apparently Thumbly likes Bowser more than, uh, than us. Alright, no! No! Oh god dang it. Oh man. Okay, that's the bad thing about this. Is that if you hold down the one button, like I usually do, then um... You're going to keep on ground pounding until you can't stop no more. Let's just use Mario. There we go, okay. Just do that in the middle and do the first right ones. There we go. And a door opens up. Hey, get away from that door, cheap cheap. That's right, that's what I thought. Get away from there, punk. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go back to Bowser. And um alright. Oh man, look at these things. Service, so we could tell what they were, but uh, we don't have to be with us. But who needs it, right? You know, that'd be cool. You know, that'd be a cool plot twist in uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It'd be like if your fairy got captured, you know? Think about that. Ow. Like, it's like, what if Navi got captured and you had to go save her, huh? That'd be pretty cool. That'd probably be everyone's favorite part of the game. Because then you want to have somebody telling you what to do every five seconds. Oh, man. I'm, I'm screwed, screwed. I think you grandpa on these guys. Yep, there you go. 12 damage. That's just beastly damage right there. 
What's going on over here? There we go. Huh? Why can't I hurt this guy? Bloop! Uh oh. The bloop? What's going on? Hey, what's that? Uh oh. What's going on, Bowser? 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 Oh my god. It's a tentacle! No! Tentacle raid! Ah! Yeah, listen to that music. It's like a remix of the underwater music. Oh my god. It's a humongous blooper. Die, you CGI abomination. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey, Len Freaks, how do you like a tentacle sandwich? Uh oh, and now we have to fight the giant blooper that's been annoying us this whole level. All right, the only thing that you can attack on him is, um, his tentacle with the red on it. And basically, it's much easier... In fact, I think it's pretty much only doable with Bowser. Because his tentacle comes up so fast that, uh, there it is. Blue, blue? Blue! No, no, there anywhere. Please, let there. Uh, you can't hit it more than once. Now, I wonder if I can ground pound on that. So I have Thudley. I know that when you ground pound on enemies, you do much more damage to them. But that's gonna be kind of tricky, considering how these things come up so fast. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Ah, I was hoping that was a red one. Really hoping that was a red one. There we go, hit it before it went down. I was hoping I wasn't gonna hit that. Come on, you CGI abomination. That was the freaking Pirates of the Caribbean. Come on. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? Why do I do that? Alright. I made it through. Don't worry, folks. I made it through. Come on. Alright. So you're... There it is. All right, boo boo. All right, finish him off with relative ease. Just swim over here. Go to the warp pipe. And we're out of the water. All right, and here's the end of the chapter. That was a short one. End of chapter! I gotta say, I don't usually like water levels, but that was actually pretty fun. A pretty fun water level. Somehow the heroes had beat the big blooper and crossed the tile pool. But before they could dry, they saw the imposing silhouette of Fort Francis. The sir is getting dark, Pete said in a quiet voice. But when they look up, they realize they were in the shadow of a huge tree. Mario, knowing in disgust this must be the way, set out towards a great tree. Yes, Pete, and in a few hours, the sun will come up. Up, up, and a tree. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, this game and its sense of humor. Anything? Anything today? Nope. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time while we try to climb a giant tree. See you guys next time. Bye.